there's two quests here, right? The big quest for the treasure, and my quest to be convinced that there's really something here worth looking for. Where's Marty Lagina. Marty Lagina <laughs> is an American engineer and TV personality, born on the 26th of August, 1955, in Kingsford, Michigan, USA. He's known for appearing in the reality TV series, The Curse of Oak Island, alongside his brother, Rick. Marty is the second child of Anne C. and George Jacob Lagina. There's not much information about Marty's childhood, except that his family is of Italian descent. Details about Marty's early education are unknown, but he attended Michigan Technological University, graduating with a degree in mechanical engineering in 1977. He continued with his studies and was rewarded with a Juris Doctorate in 1982 from the University of Michigan. A simple reminder how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either iPhone Max, iPad Mini, or MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Marty worked as a petroleum engineer in the Amoka Production Company during his time in law school, which helped him to pay for his studies. In 1990, he founded Terra Energy Limited, an energy company specialized in natural gas extraction, which quickly became one of the biggest operations in his hometown. However, in 1995, he sold the company to CMS Energy for $60 million, and with the profits obtained, Marty invested in real estate by buying shares of Chartwell Properties, LLC. In 2004, Marty founded his second company, Heritage Sustainable, a business focused on providing clean and renewable energy to 57,000 homes per year in his hometown. Meantime, always passionate about wine through his family's heritage, in 1999, Marty Lagina founded Mari Vineyards with the daring concept of growing rare grapes in Michigan, such as Sangiovese and Nebbiolo. Trying to produce an original world-class wine wasn't easy though, and for six years, the vineyard failed to create a suitable product to fit Lagina's expectations, until 2006, when the first official product, Row 7, was sold to the public. The name of this wine was chosen in commemoration of the first seven rounds produced in the vineyard, which to date are still mysterious due to the mix of a huge variety of grapes on it. Nowadays, Mary Vineyards has exponentially grown from a small vineyard to 60 acres in Old Mission Peninsula. The brand also commercializes its products to a variety of local customers, restaurants, and other businesses. The vineyard also offers guided tours for clients passionate about wine who want to know the origin of the product or simply want a relaxing afternoon. In 1965, Marty and his older brother Rick read Oak Island's Mysterious Money Pit, a story published in a Reader's Digest book written by Reginald V. Harris, and its introduction can be found in Oak Island Tours' website. In 1795, a man named Daniel McGuinness, who discovered a strange opening on the ground at Southern Oak Island in Nova Scotia, curious about this find, McGuinness and a few friends excavated the hole and found various oak logs in what would later be known as the pit. McGuinness became obsessed about finding pirate treasure in the place, and the rumor expanded outside of the island, attracting explorers interested in the supposed hidden treasure for over two centuries. They didn't know what to make of it, and every time they hit the oak, they decided truly under here is the treasure. They got down 30 feet, and they could go no further. Not only were individuals interested in the island, many companies also tried unsuccessfully to find what is hidden in Oak Island, resulting on bankruptcy for several of them. However, money was not the only thing lost in these explorations. As to date, six men have tragically died, in accidents related to the search for the treasure, inspiring a legend which states that seven men will die before the riches under Oak Island are discovered. Perhaps Marty and his brother are no different, as they bought shares in Oak Island Tours Incorporated in 2007, though the association eventually dissolved, and now the island is owned by Michigan Group, owned as well by the Lagina brothers, along with Craig Tester and Alan Kosterziwa. There are many rumors about what Oak Island's treasure could be, which include possible artifacts of Knights Templar, Aztec Empire, or Solomon's Temple. It's also theorized famous pirate Captain Kidd was in charge of hiding those artifacts on the place. Many of these ideas seem highly unlikely, but they make a good story and sell. To date, Marty and his brother Rick have not found any major treasure on the island, though various items such as Spanish scissors and coins, pieces of wood, and even human bones have been found in the pit, saying, of all those things, none should be on this island. However, Marty and his brother are really more interested on solving the mystery than on what the real treasure could be. Truthfully, I really don't have a theory. It's quite remarkable. We don't know what we're searching for. We're spending all this money, 
we're actively engaged in the search and we don't know, said Marty. The Curse of Oak Island is a TV series focused on Oak Island's mystery and the Lagina Brothers' efforts to find the ancient treasure, still rumored to be in the depths of the pit. The show premiered in 2014 on the History Channel and has gathered the attention of viewers interested in either the alleged curse that surrounds the island or on the crew's efforts and excavations. Because of the big mystery surrounding the place, it's not a surprise that the Curse of Oak Island has found detractors as well. However, the brothers have insisted that their interest doesn't come from ambition, but just natural curiosity. As Rick Lagina commented in an interview with My North, the possibilities of this story are so rich. There's a wonderful story on Oak Island waiting there to be written. Is the treasure still there? I believe it is. But whether or not there actually is a treasure, there is a wonderful story there. We hope that we can fill in some of those blank pages. Although the possibilities of finding something historically important are exciting. Marty finds himself equally intrigued and skeptical. I often scratch my head and think, what happened on this island? There's a lot of room for misinterpretation, but then I'll think, well, my son just pulled coconut fiber out of the shore of the ocean, and Craig, who knows what he's doing, just dated the fiber to 1200 to 1400 AD. Now what the heck? But I just don't know, and it bothers me that we may not succeed in finding out what happened on Oak Island. Besides the curse of Oak Island, Marty Lagina has also appeared in its spin-off series, Drilling Down, and in the mystery-related series entitled The Curse of Civil War Gold, premiered in 2018, and focused on the search for a gold hoard reputedly worth $140 million, which supposedly disappeared in the 19th century. In his personal life, Marty Lagina is married to Margaret Olivia Lagina, a mechanical engineer with whom he has two children named Alex and Maddie. Marty's son Alex also participates in explorations in Oak Island. It's an opportunity to spend time with my uncle and dad doing this crazy adventure, and that's a great thing, he told Michigan Today. As a result of his many business ventures and appearances on TV, Marty Lagina has an estimated net worth of over $100 million as of late 2020. Physically, Marty Lagina is a man of white ethnicity with black hair and brown eyes. There's no information about his current weight and height. In an interview with My North in 2014, Marty told the juvenile story of how his brother Rick became enthralled by the Oak Island story. I was the younger brother, and I probably didn't even read the article, but he comes and tells me, hey, look at this, this is really cool. So he gets me really interested because, well, I'm the younger brother. Has anything changed? Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.